shows that their scoring problems are even more acute than that because Ipswich have only twice managed to score more than one goal in a First Division match this season. And the last time was back on the 1st of September. Not all Mariners' fault, of course. Indeed, he got the winner at Derby last week. The absence of Franz Tyson, who was injured playing for Holland against East Germany on Wednesday, means Ipswich reshuffle the side. Mick Mills moves into midfield, Terry Butcher switches to left back, and Kevin Beatty returns in the centre of the defence. Clive Woods is still injured, but the substitute, Mick Davray, is a 17-year-old South African yet to play in the first team. Southampton still without Charlie George, but they welcome back Chris Nicholl, and he starts a new partnership today with the England centre-half, Dave Watson. But Malcolm Waldron keeps his place wearing number six, and you may well find him in the sweeper's role behind the other two. The idea is for number three, Nick Holmes, and perhaps number two, Ivan Golak as well, to push into midfield. The referee this afternoon is Brian Hill from Wellingborough. So Southampton kicking off in the stripes. Indeed, they've lost five of their last six matches and have slipped rather drastically down the table from third to 13th. But Ipswich are in the bottom three. Mike Shannon feeling the first uh, bruise of the afternoon. Kevin Beattie to John Walk. Ipswich in blue shirts and white shorts. Here's Russell Osman. That's George Burley. Ipswich have pushed Mariner and Brazil well forward already, and Mick Mills saying where the ball should have gone. You may well find Eric Gates, number 11, in your picture there, playing just behind the main two strikers. Peter Wells, the Southampton goalkeeper, who won the position back from Terry Geno recently. That's for Shannon and Boyer, headed by Beattie. That's Hebbard. Nick Holmes outside him. Boyer's doing his usual busy job of trying to shake the defence out of position, and Steve Williams gets into an offside position there. Here's Butcher, very much a left-footed player, and so, of course, is this man Beatty. Arnold Neeran is also predominantly left-footed, number eight. John Walk. Gates. Mariner and Brazil waiting on the far side of the area. This is Gates again with Holmes. gets up, oh, saved by Wells, very good save indeed from Paul Mariner, by Peter Wells, it was a good cross and Mariner got up well, thought he had it away to the goalkeeper's left, but what a good turn round by the Southampton keeper. Butcher trying to get there and Beattie was also coming in behind him, here's Osman, Southampton survive, here's Steve Williams. Shannon to his right and Boyer through the centre. Two players now moving to the left. Burley, nice tidy interception, very much his trademark, and he finds Brazil, wearing number 10. Here's Muren, Alan Ball was in the way, and then it was Waldron turning it back. Butcher beating Shannon. Mariner looking for the free kick, and he gets it against Chris Nickel. Mariner getting himself into the position that he likes, which is normally on the far side of the area when there's a set piece. In fact, he did get a very good header in earlier on there. It brought a fine save. Been playing five minutes, and it'll be Mick Mills to take the kick.
That's aimed at Beattie's head and it found him. And Beattie again. Well, he prefers them on the left foot, Kevin Beattie, but uh, he's in quite good form recently. He scored against Grasshoppers here in the UFA Cup. And on that occasion, he was picked out very nicely by sk skipper Mick Mills. The switch working well with Mariner taking away the Southampton defence. Oh, that's nicely done between Williams and Shannon. Boy is in the centre, so is Holmes, so is Hebbard. Golak, Ball. Hebbard now far post, that's him. Seemed to forget where the ball was for a moment. Arnold Mirren, a highly popular player here at Portman Road. The fans made him the player of the year last season. Here's Butcher. Burley. Mills. Big switch building down the right with Burley again, but just a yard or two. Much pace on the ball from Mick Mills. Here's Golak. That's an offside again, I would think, against Shannon. Here's Mills for Ipswich. Burley's made a run down the right wing. He's checked now. Waldron's header to Williams. Here's Alan Ball. Boyer with the run. Nice piece of defensive work by Eric Gates, who funneled back for Ipswich. What can he do in attack? Mariner. Nisman decides that the ball was out of play. Alan Ball, one of those typical little exchanges with the uh, officials. It's still going on. Hill, I think, might step in if that uh, continues. This is BT for Ipswich. Muren to Butcher. That'll find Mariner. To the right is Burley. This is Mills to BT. That was Gates. That was Watson. This is Mariner. Good effort. People who believe that Ipswich are playing at their best when Mariner is playing well, and he certainly started well this afternoon. First a header well saved, then a shot well worth the try from out there, and not very far away from Wells' right hand post, was it? Fine try by Paul Mariner. Williams. Ipswich looking eager and urgent in attack. Brazil again, Mariner. Brazil, Mariner wants it back. Golak, the defender. A very competent piece of play by the Yugoslav. To foil Paul Mariner. That was Shannon, Hebbard. That's a fine ball by Burley to Gates. Brazil made his way at the right time there. Good clearance by Wells. This is Walk. Ipswich beat the offside trap. Brazil timing his run superbly. The ball well delivered by Gates. And earlier by Burley. Here's Gates again. Mariner's got options to his right. Burley again. Brazil. It's Gates. That's a superb goal by Eric Gates. A lovely 
strike after 12 minutes, and Ipswich deserve their lead. What a good build-up. First by George Burley at right-back, then Alan Brazil holding, waiting, getting the ball back inside, and Eric Gates struck it first time, and every striker loves to see a ball fly in like that. That's Eric Gates' second goal of the season. Alan Brazil had a hand in it. And now can Ipswich go on and end what's been something of a goal famine here? Or can Southampton find a foothold from being a goal down? Mills. Brazil. Burley. This is good build-up again. Ipswich are playing some crisp football. Brazil's in there once more. It's John Wall. John Walk this time, but Brazil was in there again, he confused the defence, and Ipswich have scored two in a minute. Such a good inventive move again, the passing was precise, Southampton were drawn out of position, Alan Brazil confused the defence, and John Walk ran on to lash that high into the net. So. Ipswich scoring two goals in a match for only the third time this season in the First Division. And they've scored them in the first 13 minutes. Fine start and well deserved. Murin's made a great run down the left wing. Look at the ball from Beattie, it's just too fine in a way, but Ipswich are in the mood now to try Something fairly ambitious, which that was. Beatty applauds Murin for the way he found the space. The way this match has started must have brought back bad memories for the Southampton manager, Laurie McMenemy. In his first season at the Dell, when Southampton ended up getting relegated, his side were beaten here 7-0. And today, they were two down in the first 13 minutes. Nicol Ball, who's hardly been in the match so far. But it won't last long, I'm sure. Shannon. Nickel to Watson and running up front is Shannon again looking for an early ball with Butcher there as well and the referee decides that Butcher fouled him and so a free kick to Southampton waiting just behind the referee, he's got Williams there as well, and Holmes. Waldron to his right, looking for the shot, maybe, and he did! <laughs> Russell Osman with his shirt outside his shorts, as usual, looking for Arnold Mirren on the left. Was cut out by Nicol to Ball. Gates to Brazil. Butcher. Again, a lot of confidence from Ipswich and a foul by Shannon on Butcher, which is perhaps just a little bit of afters for what happened a few minutes ago when the boot was on the other foot. Butcher gets up. Away by Steve Williams to Shannon. A bit tight the angle to play that inside and Shannon. spot there on Muran and that's his second foul Mike Shannon he was frustrated about his inability to get the ball to a Southampton player ball had called him he got boxed in and he was very late on Arnold Muran so a free kick to Ipswich taken by Muran who looks for Mariner and here's Brazil and there's Ball what a good move on the break it's Boyer for Southampton Ball. Nick Holmes on the run. Good cross by Holmes. There's Shannon. Taken out by Beatty. Well, 
feet, he's been a colossus so far. It was him again there who got the ball away. Hebbard. Brazil and Mariner both getting back to do the parrying and win possession for Ipswich. Osman. Feels for handball, but the referee waves play on. This is Watson. Shannon's come short, and here's Golak. Williams wide on the right. In the centre, Shannon and Boyer. The ball wasted, rather, by Williams. Here's Mariner. That's a foul by Malcolm Waldron. The referee allows him to take it very quickly, and here's Gates. To the right is Burley. Here's Brazil. Here's Walk. And if there's a player offside there, I wouldn't think that would have counted. Just feel, as that ball was played back by Brazil to walk, I think Paul Mariner on the far post had just strayed into an offside position. And although Peter Wells made a very good save, I don't think it mattered. Shannon. Muren. Brazil is offside. So, Ball wanting to get on with things as rapidly as he can. Side two goals down. Hebbard finds Golak. Now it's Williams. Shannon. Ball. Osman. Muren. Been playing half an hour. And that period has undoubtedly belonged to Ipswich, even though that pass has gone astray. Here's Holmes. Mills playing himself into a little bit of trouble there, but BT seems to be sorting everything out at the back. This is Murin now. Mills was ready again, the sign of a good pro. Quick to atone for his own mistake. Brazil. Fine run. Brilliant run by Brazil. goal started from the back initially by BT Mills took it up but what happened when it reached Brazil he just picked the ball up and went on running took his time went past another defender hit it left foot and he found the target 31 minutes gone and Ipswich Town 3 Southampton nil Ipswich in no more than half an hour, really, equaling their previous best score of the season in the first division. So Alan Brazil, full of life, he's had a hand in two goals and scored one himself. And Southampton, at this stage, looking very fragmented. This is Ball. Well, two of the goals have been crackers, there's no doubt about that. And Ipswich has moved this afternoon, it started off optimistically, but they've got better and better. And already the Ipswich song, which was heard at Portman Road in better days, beginning to reverberate around the ground. They've had some disappointing games here this season, but this is something different. There's a real cohesion and urgency about the way they've worked from the back here right through to the front players. And Southampton, I think, losing their patience and even their tempers. There'll be a few murmurings and mutterings because there's some experienced players on this team, no more, one more so than Ball. And Southampton have been guilty of a couple of late tackles in these last couple of minutes. That's a free kick to Ipswich. You can see the anxiety all over Alan Ball's face. His side three goals down and not really together at all. Burley. Away from the corner. 
teasing cross, which Nico had to deal with in that simple but safe fashion, because Brazil was coming in behind him. It was a cross from Arnold Muren, actually. Well, that must be the most encouraging 45 minutes that the Portman Road crowd have seen this season from Ipswich, certainly in the first division. They started well and they got better. And their reward came with some fine personal performances, none more so than that from Alan Brazil, who made the first two goals and scored the third. And the performance at the back of Kevin Beattie was also an indication of how well Ipswich played throughout the side. Southampton really not in things in the first half, and the scorers Gates, Walk and Brazil.